question addressed to the Minister of Public Infrastructure. Yeah, no public infrastructure. Yeah. The, the DPM is not here, so I'm addressing the question to you. It's a question of traffic flow along Van DMS Street. Traffic flow, traffic control, traffic flow along Van DMS up to roundabout of CEB Rosin. It's a real nightmare. Can I ask the Minister to have a side visit early in the morning, or from 7, up to 8 to move around and see what is the real problem there, facing not only the inhabitants of Brazil, but also Beauvaisin going to Port Louis. There are no police officers. I don't know if it is on purpose with traffic lights. I've already informed you on several occasions, but no action. Remains on orange. Is it political motive or is it a... There is a, there is a problem of security of the, of the general public. I have drawn the attention of the Minister on several occasions, so I think there is urgent need for the Minister to have a side visit, have a meeting with the police. Uh, uh, the mayor can't do anything, but he's not responsible. But it is, it is very urgent that the Minister act rapidly to prevent any further case of accident, which has been happening during the past weekend. So can I appeal upon the Minister the urgency to initiate action and have a side visit early in the morning and even in the afternoon? I would like to reassure my honourable friend the appeal will be taken care of. In fact, I, I went there on Sunday, but maybe Sunday is not the right day to assess the, the nature of the problem. I will see to it tomorrow that urgently we can find a solution because um, between the, the roundabout of uh, Rosil and the roundabout of Bobasa, uh, with all the works going on, in fact, there is, uh, there is uh, some issues and I'm going to take care of that. Thank you, Madam uh, Speaker. I would like to raise a matter which uh, is addressed to the Minister of Social Security. It's about a gentleman who really touched my heart because he, sent a, he posted a message on, on Facebook. And he is a, a person with disability. He has visual impairment. And he has been a trainee, a trainee telephone operator under the skill development program since August 2020. 10, for the past nine years. He's currently now in place at the head office of the Training and Employment of Disabled Person uh, Board. And he's making a, a cry from the heart that after nine years as trainee, at least he deserves a full-time position. And he deserves to get a, a, a money, a salary, which is commensurate with his nine years experience instead of the stipend he's currently getting, which is below the minimum wage. And I will table a copy of the certificate from the Training and Employment of Disabled Person Board, which certifies that he is employed as a trainee since August 2010. So I'll, I'll, I'll pray to the, my appeal to the Minister if he can talk to the Board of uh, um, the Training and Employment of Disabled Person Board and see whether there's any possibility of putting this uh, gentleman on, as a, on a full-time employment basis with uh, appropriate salary. Thank you. I thank the Honourable Member for um, his words. Um, in fact, I never knew about this. The gentleman, if he works for the Training uh, on Employment of Disabled People's Persons Board, could simply have addressed me a letter, and I would certainly have looked into it much, much earlier than now. Yes, uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, the issue I'm raising tonight is addressed to the Honourable uh, Vice Prime Minister and uh, Minister for Local Government, and is in relation to uh, Jardin Plan Vert. Uh, what happened is that recently the Municipal Council of Port West has replaced the lanterns uh, of Jardin Plan Vert, starting from Diego Garcia Street to uh, the end of uh, the garden that is uh, near to near the post office of La Rue Margot. Uh, the, the problem is that many places have been missed and more importantly uh, the bus stop at Qaddafi Square is still in the dark. So uh, I would urge the Honorable Vice Prime Minister to ensure that the Municipal Council of Port Louis carry out a survey at night so that they identify the places where uh, that has been missed and also some poles has been erected but no lanterns were placed on it. So it is important that we carry out a survey at night 
and replace the lantern where it has been missed. Thank you. So I take a good note of the query and I will um, urge the Minister of Council of Poli to look into it. Um,